All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to my special video. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, and it's pretty much what add-ons do I use. So I have a, quite a few of them, and some. if you've seen the last one I posted about two months ago, some of them are the same, but there are some new ones. Just in case you are new to the channel, uh, you guys can check out everything I use, and maybe you can try something else for yourself. So anyway, let's start off. Some of these will be able to describe in about like 30 seconds or less and some of them I might need to go into a little bit of detail for so let's start from the bottom to top because the bottom one is actually the easiest so sky shards if you don't know what sky shards is it essentially points them out on the map to where all the sky shards are you see this got the sky shard that's where it is you pick it up and it shows it for pretty much every zone so yeah that's a good one especially if you need more um skill points just like go find it everywhere um Shrendar. This one's going to be a slightly detailed one just because there's a lot of uh, options you have to customize. So if you use this and you got it, like don't just leave it on the default. You really have to customize this one simply because um, by default, there's so many things you have to look at, especially to track all your buffs. So in a nutshell, this is a buff tracker. Um, it also tells you you can customize the size of everything. And then the aura displays from like 1 to 10. And then you have to do this for every character simply because every character has different skills, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of options. It's definitely stuff to tweak. This is probably the most important thing to look at. Uh, track all your buffs. Um, now, it has 10 different windows you can display it. So let me just show you what it looks like if you unlock it. You see all these things on the map or the screen? Like this is 1 through 10. And pretty much I only use it for a certain thing. I do have... Another add-on that I'll go into a little bit of detail a little bit later. But uh, this one is pretty much just to track my active buffs. So luckily, now that housing has come out, I can do all this in the peacefulness in my house without people spamming mount noises. So this is our training dummy. Um, you guys are going to see, like right here, this is the area where you're going to see the buffs right above the enemy health bar. So the way I customized it is you see the little buffs popping up on screen. And then that's what it looks like. So just in a nutshell, that's where all my buffs pop up. You can customize the size, you can customize the boxes and timers, everything you want. That's all good, but uh, this is how I like it personally. And uh, yeah, if I were to be testing it, um, the left side is pretty much the ones I really have to pay attention to. Hurricane, uh, Critical Surge, and Deadly Click is not really as important because I do switch it up every now and then. But, um, yeah, these are the ones where I track my Endless Hail. This is a very important one. And your Poison Injection. Those are like the debuffs on the enemies. And that's where they take the most damage. So that's how I do it. So Shrendar is essentially a buff tracker. And it is very convenient to have. Just because to maximize damage and everything. Uh, it's something to play with. So how you do this is up to you. But there's a lot of options. Don't just use the default. You're going to have to play around with this one. And... I've been using a few other ones that are essentially buff trackers, but this one is the most updated one. So it works at the moment. So this is why I use it. Now Roomba, this one is a unique one. It's either you're gonna use it or you won't. If you're like a guild leader or someone of a high status in your own guild, and it's essentially used for your guild bank. It stacks your items for you automatically. And if you just clears up inventory space in your guild bank, that's really all it is. You push one button, it does it all for you. Next one, we have Raid Timer. Uh, this is not a new one. It essentially shows you your time and score of like a trial. So let's, uh, for example, I'll do this. Type RT start. And then above the screen, or not above, like above the chat, you're going to see the timer go up. Uh, if you've watched any of my other trial videos, Maelstrom Arena, Dragon Star, or any of the other things I do, this is a trial that essentially tells you how long you've been going and your raid score for leaderboard purposes. So then you can stop it if you don't use it. And then it also appears in your box, like what your score was. So if you don't do trials or you don't care about scoring, this is pretty much irrelevant. Raid Notifier is somewhat similar. To this one raid notifier is probably one of the most important things you can get if you're doing better in trials pretty much it just tells you it gives you warnings of when things are going to happen for like maelstrom most people just use it for mob lorkaj and sanctum 
Hellrod doesn't really have anything important. This is only for hard mode. So if you don't do hard mode, this one's irrelevant. Sanctum Aphidia has a lot of things. Uh, really, the most important thing you want to have on is the overcharge and the poison phase and magic of detonation. Everything else is kind of cool, but you don't really need it. Magic of detonation is on the final boss. Quake is on the first boss. Boulders and trolls are just everywhere. Overcharges are very important because people die to it a lot. Maw of Lorcage. Pretty much everything can kill you really quickly, so this is very important. And then this is the little panel thingy that shows you what your timers are. So that one's definitely a good one. So if you don't do veteran trials, this is irrelevant. If you do veteran trials, get it for sure. Next one on our list is Master Merchant. This is not a new one. This is very popular. I'm sure if you play on PC, you know exactly what this is. It essentially is a marketplace where it tells you the average price of things. So you see where it says under any item I have here, the MM price. Now this is reflected by all the trade guilds or just guilds you're in in general. It takes the average of the recent sales that you have and it just like tells you like what's been sold in the past 10 days. You can customize it as well and how much things are worth in general. So like, for example, this one uh, is 100,000. This is craftable. I don't even know why people buy this, but whatever. So if you want to know what a price of something is, you can do that. And then along with, let's say someone else asks you for a price check, you could right click it and get tight or do stats to chat. And then it'll be like MM price number and then it'll tell you the price of it. So pretty much for any item, if you ask other people in different guilds, it tells you as well. It's pretty cool to have. So that's what um, uh, Master Merchant does. I'll just show you some of the other options it includes. So if you go here, it tells you like what trade guild you're in and then how much you've made in sales. And then you could show all info for like everyone in your guild. And then this is the most important or this is one of um, an important one. This is mine personally. So like if you sell something, it tells you when you've sold something, uh, how much you've sold it for. And you can pretty much just check and you can search up any or anyone if they're in your guilds. Um, you can search up like what they've sold and what they've done as well. So essentially, if you are into the market and you're trying to flip items to make profit so you know how much to sell things for in general, there are a few other ones you can get. I just stick to MM. However, as a warning, Master Merchant, it does require a lot of resources. It could lag your game. So you're going to either have to change the, I think it's called LUA memory or something like that. You're going to have to do that in your files or there's another add-on that automatically does it. So I don't actually use it. I just manually change the memory and uh, I've never had any errors or crashes from that. So just as a warning, that one's a very intensive one. And then a few other things before we move on to the next add-on. You could change like the date and time, um, sales alerts. It tells you if you sold something and then you could focus the days. So like, let's say you want to see an item sold within 200 days or you want to see an item, how much it would cost if it sold within like 10 days. So this is definitely something you have to play with and it lets you know, like in the general idea of how much things are in your server. Uh, keep in mind, this does not track, like, for example, if you are on a North American server, it does not track EU prices. Not that it really matters if you are wondering, but just, just to tell you that. So that's MM in a nutshell. Next thing we have is Mailer. Mail R. Mailer. This essentially gives you a reply and forward button. It's kind of like emails in real life. For example, if I take this, like something in my log, there will be like a forward message. And then if someone sends you a message as well, uh, you could reply to it because the default UI does not have a reply button or a forward button for some reason. And so essentially, let's take this one, for example. This one is a, has a lot of text. If you forward it to someone, you, it takes all the text in here and then you just like delete this one and then whatever it is. And then it takes the uh, subject. You could just put someone's at name in there as well. So that's essentially what Mailer does. It has a it adds a reply and forward button. It's kind of handy, especially if you have a lot of incoming and outgoing mails daily. So that's a really quick one. It's pretty neat to have. Uh, if you don't get mails often, then it's kind of irrelevant. Now, LUI Extended. This one is going to take a while to explain as well. This one is simply like a, a lot of things. 
Um, it has a damage meter, attracts your buffs, kind of just like Shrendar, but it adds more combat info, panels, and then raid timers, a lot of customizable options. So I'll go over everything just so you guys can see it before you actually try it. Uh, info panel, this essentially is this thingy right here, like where the timer is, and the soul gems. Now technically you could turn all of them on, and it'll show you like, I don't know, let's show you FPS, latency, all of this nonsense but most of it it's kind of um irrelevant all i want to see are two different things so that's where it would be and then you could change the size of it as well and that's the info one pretty much this in lui extended is an entire ui add-on it's kind of neat to have actually now combat info it pretty much tells you like if you want to see cooldowns and whatnot so it tracks your ultimate, like right here. Let me just show you. Like right here, you can have this on or off. It'll, and if I turned it on, it would just show me another number right here. But the default UI already has one, so I just keep it off. Um, let's see. Pretty much it just tracks your font sizes and all that stuff. Buffs and debuffs are at the bottom of the screen like we showed you before. Uh, look under the health bar right here. And then there's going to be another one right here. And that's what it is. So look under my health bar. And you can see all the buffs going off along with this one. And uh, it pretty much tracks everything. Especially if I use a potion. And that's kind of what it does. So that's what it is essentially. Tracks everything. Alright, so next one on our list is buffs and debuffs. We got that one. Now we have a damage meter and combat log. I don't personally use LUIs. But essentially... It's the same thing as this one. I use FTCs because it kind of tracks things a little bit better. But essentially, it does the same thing. It tells you your damage and time. Uh, for the most part, they're both accurate. FTC and LUI just kind of like the FTC one a bit more. I've tested them both personally, and they are, for the most part, accurate. Now, chat announcements pretty much is like if you buy something from a vendor, it could tell you how much gold you have remaining in your like bag right there. And if you spend 10 gold, it'll subtract 10 and tell you your new total. Or if you want to see like the loot stuff, it's always good. And yeah, so that's chat announcements in a nutshell. All right, so I think we covered everything in the LUI extended. This one's the unit frames. Now this one is going to be more of personal preference. So if you do get these add-on, for the most part, you're going to have to customize this yourself because my from is how I like it. You might not like how I set mine up. You change the colors. You see the text right here. I changed mine to white. That's why mine is white over here. You could change it to pretty much any color and it has a lot of customizable options. If you do PvP a lot, you could show PvP bars instead. And if boss ones is like, a boss would be like, health bar would be right up here and down here. It pretty much just multi-tracks bosses so you don't have to like hover over it multiple times it does help for double bosses like in wild lorkaj the double bosses or a lot of other anything else with more than one boss now custom raid frame is like if you have more than 12 people you can have the default box or you can have a custom box i'm sure you guys have seen it if you watch any of my trial videos uh that's what it looks like group frames you can have the default or you can have you know one of the new one it's, that's what it is pretty much up to you this one pretty much is the player target. This is essentially what you'll be changing right here. I like the bars just because I don't really like the default layout, how they had it, and it tells you your numbers. So that's always good. Oh, wait, that's actually the other one. And then player target, this is the other bar to the right of it. But essentially the same thing. So health bar, shield bar, magic, stamina makes it easy just by using default colors. You could change it to whatever you want, but I just left for the most part on default. And um, as we go up, this is the default unit frames. This one's definitely going to have to be customized by yourself. So, yeah. Next on our list, we have Lost Treasure. This one is a unique one, especially if you do Ritz on the daily. Let's see. I have, I think I have a few. Like, for example, let's use this Green Shade Treasure map. So we have a Green Shade Treasure map. If we go look at, wait, where is it? Green Shade. It tells you, it marks an X where the treasure would be. Now, you just have to go to that area, and then the treasure will be there. You dig it up, and essentially that's it. It's really neat. It saves you a lot of time from Googling and YouTubing videos just to find one treasure map. So, it's kind of unique. 
I like it. It saves me time. Inventory grid view. This is going to be a quick one. If you don't like the default, this is essentially what it looks like. So if you don't, if you are not familiar, this is what the default UI for the for your backpack looks like. The reason why I don't like this is because you have to scroll down. If you, especially if you have a lot of things in your inventory, you have to scroll down to see everything. So if you toggle the add-on, you can see everything in one clear thing without having to scroll down. It color codes everything by gear color, and your potions. There's a lot of other things, and uh, I think this even works for a craft bag if you are an ESO Plus member. Um, it just marks things by color, so it's very handy. And yeah, so if you don't like the default UI for the inventory, inventory grid view changes everything. I love it. This is definitely in my top five. FTC, this is essentially a UI add-on, just kind of like LUI Extended. However, since I do use LUI Extended, I pretty much turned everything off, and all I used is the damage statistics, which is what you see right here. So if you want to see what other people's damage is, or you're like training new people, and you're trying to see how they are progressing. There's a damage meter. You could hotkey it in your add-on setting somewhere. And then you just hotkey it. And then it'll post like an FTC damage report like right here. And essentially, it tells you how much damage you've done. Your average. And to what enemy and the timer. Now, most uh, LUI does this as well. I just kind of like FTCs a little bit more for some reason. Nothing really out of the ordinary. So that's essentially, if you like the new UI for FTC, this isn't a good one. I used to use it, but then I found LUI. So FTC is a good one. A lot of people use it as well. Uh, Lazy Rick Crafter. Now this one I recently found because a lot of friends have been recommending it. And it essentially, I can't really show you. Actually, maybe I can. Let me just show you it right now. Let's port to somewhere. All right, so let's pick up our Ritz. I think we have some for today. All right, so we got our Ritz. So you you know what Lazy Rit Crafter is? It essentially does everything for you. Uh, there's a box right here, Lazy Rit Crafter. It tells you what you're going to be used to create what you need. So like, let's say, for example, we're at a clothing station right now. We need to craft two linen shoes, two hats, and two sashes. It tells you what you need. You just hit the craft button and it does it for you. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Next on our list is Combat Metrics. So another damage tracker, uh, it goes into a very detailed progress report. So for example, we'll use this one. 15, this is what we got. You have to hotkey this, I believe. Oh, hold on. This is what it is. A lot of you guys may have seen this before. Uh, this is what we took from our target skeleton test. That was like 11 seconds. Essentially, it shows you your damage, your group's damage, uh, what all your abilities were, and your stats and tells you what kind of buffs you had on how this went up above 100 percent i have no idea but it did because zoss this is a detailed progress support essentially and it tells you how you're doing as well it's good for improvement so yeah that's definitely something you're either going to use or not use if you like min maxing testing damage this is definitely good for you Awesome guild store. This one works with Master Merchant as we used before. Um, I'll show you how it works. So we are going to see a different UI. This is Awesome Guild Store. So by default, there is no text filter. And that makes searching things really hard. Now, if you have a text filter, you can search for anything you want. Like what I have here, we have some saved ones. So let's say we're going to look for tempering alloys. This is what we would type in, tempering, and it just finds all the items for you. Now, it goes into more detail than that. If you wanted to look for, let's say, golden items only, you would change the quality to gold legendary only. And if you wanted to look for a certain price, so yeah, let's say we want to look for legendary or yellow items only, that's what we can do. We can search for it. It makes searching easier, and if it saves time, that is fantastic. So there are a few more add-ons that I use that's not uh, listed here, but these are the most important ones. Um, a lot of people ask me, can I like review their build and see improvements? And I usually tell people, if you are playing on PC, get the Superstar add-on. Um, what you do is install it, and then you type Superstar, and what will appear is this. This is not new. Shows all your gear, all your champion points, your health, and everything. 
and your abilities. You can even change it on the go in like live updates in a way. So if you want to show someone else your build, you could do that and then take a screenshot and then send it to them. Instead of explaining it, I just show them a picture. It's fantastic. It saves time. Superstar. Great. Definitely something that you may or may not use, but if you just want to see what other people's gear is, um, you get the add-on type slash superstar. This will pop up and then you screenshot it. So that's essentially it. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed checking out what kind of add-ons I use. Hopefully you guys found some cool ones that I use as well. If you did, be sure to let me know which ones uh, interested you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later and have a fantastic day.